So welcome at NEB 2019. We're at the Canon booth and we're going to take a closer look at the Sumire Primes from Canon. Sumire. Sumire. Red Shark's NEB coverage is brought to you by NewTech, G Technology, Blackmagic Design, and Adobe. So Steven, new primes, a big deal, right? Yeah, this is great for Canon. So the Sumeri Primes are our brand new uh, offering for cinematographers and DPs to get a different type of artistic look from what they want to film. Um, so maybe I'll start with a Sumeri. It's a, it's a new name and it actually comes from a sort of a Japanese term for uh, either gentleness or a, it's a flower's name, so like a violet. Um, and very much the the design ethos behind it is much like a flower. When the aperture is fully open, when the petals are fully open, you get that beautiful look. And that's the whole feel behind this new lens. It's there to give a, a choice for, for the consumer, for the choice for that different feel to the currently, already everyone knows that, you know, the, the Canon Primes as they are today. But this is then giving you a, an artistic different flavor. So uh, have, have people already shot on it? So yes, yeah. So we've got uh, we've shot a few different bits of footage already for some test cases. Uh, so in Europe, we've got uh, three DOPs already done a little bit of work on it, and uh, over in the US as well. But at the moment, obviously, we've got we've just launched, so we have a few samples, and I think what we'll see is a, a lot more content coming out very very soon. But there are a few bits of footage that you can see on the Canon websites already today. And uh, the DPs that have shot with it, what was their response to the, to the look of the lenses? Well, yeah, so it's great. So they can really see a difference. Um, some of those differences are, you'll get to see, um, you know, like, for example, a nice creamy bokeh in the background. Generally, uh, you know, a nice prime, perfect for a sort of portrait type shot. And what you'll see is a lot of uh, sort of a softer skin tones that you'll see then the more sort of you know clinical look of a of a sharp lens from a, from another you know one of the other primes so it's giving a different feel to the whole sort of style of the shot and with the range of the focal lengths obviously then you've got you know opportunities for all sort all shooting um, so these are a completely new look um, I'm, maybe you don't want to answer this, but I can imagine that there will be some zooms down the line at some point. Can't say anything about the future <laughs> at the moment. Um, so we're starting with the primes. So for us at the moment, so we have a we have a big range of cine zooms, which are kind of 35 mil frame. These are full frame. So this covers, like our other primes, this covers super 35 full frame. So. Obviously, you can see an explosion over the last few years in camera manufacturers coming out with full frame. So us, ourselves, Canon C700 full frame came out um, and it gives the, you know, you as a DP yourself know the difference, uh, you know, what you can get, that depth of field and everything else from that. And it's, you know, it's a harder thing to shoot. Um, but these are full frames that, that basically are there for whatever choice you're shooting in the market. So if you're shooting on other brands, these will cover those frames, sensors for the full frames as well. So it's a lens for you to choose in your kind of lineup of what you want to shoot with. Uh, T-stops? T-stops, yeah. So the majority of the lenses are low down at 1.5. So good low T-stops for good low light. And that's where you're at that wide aperture, that's where you're getting that best effect. Uh, but do you think that uh, because a T-stop of one point something yeah. is pretty damn wide, it's, yes. it's like a lot like hitting the sensor, especially on yeah. like a full frame sensor. Yeah. It's like, how are you going to focus almost? Well, yeah, I mean, that's a good question. I mean, it makes the cameraman's job slightly harder. But then again, that's what gives that beautiful effect. And that's where, you know, ultimately in cinematography, in drama, that sort of area, you know, although we have camera technology that will do dual pixel CMOS AF, that's a different, entirely different topic um, that helps that kind of full frame capture. With these, this is a manual zoom. So this is back to focus puller, 
yeah. and really that's an art, absolute art in itself. It's not something I can do myself. Yeah. Um, uh, in terms of the build quality, these look very similar to uh, the other primes you have in your lineup and the other zooms, right? Yeah, absolutely. So housing-wise, they're, they're the same sort of shape and feel. So actually, the benefit of that is, you know, across our range here, you can swap out a matte box, you can swap out focus gears, and you can go through the range and actually put another lens on. So. Um, overall length, I think it's 93.5 on the on the midset range of the primes. So, all those benefits of your whatever you're used to in a current set of primes, these actually fit that. 300 degree rotation uh, for, the, for the focus. Um, basically, the same feel. Um, even little, it's little touches as well. So, you know, phosphorant on the on the labeling. So, in a nice dark scene, which is what everyone is trying to shoot in now, moody scenes. You know, it just helps helps the bird you see that available feet and meters obviously for different sides of the pond you know that's what everyone wants to have so it's there to really be friendly for the focus puller uh, in terms of size that actually I, I find them like when I first saw them I think they're actually pretty small right for like a yeah. full frame yeah I mean it's look a, lens yeah I mean it's a nice compact prime ultimately and uh, you know it'll be nice once we have a nice box set of all seven of them you know that's the perfect thing for the for the DP